Tonight, we're learning new details about a deadly crash involving a Nevada Department of Corrections employee. An investigation is now underway after the Las Vegas area prison employee was suspected of being impaired and then sent home. That's when he crashed his truck and died. Fox 5's Sean Dowling has more after hearing from a prison insider. The crash happened on July 2nd this year, around 11.15 a.m. along US 95 near Indian Springs, not far from Southern Desert Correctional Center. The coroner's report states Collins was driving his Toyota Tundra southbound when, for unknown reasons, he left the roadway, the truck rolled, he was ejected, and came to a stop in a desert area by the roadway. The autopsy report lists the cause of death being from blunt force injuries and rules it an accident. However, per Nevada Highway Patrol, impairment is believed to be a factor. After he showed up for a shift, Collins was driven to a clinic in Las Vegas for testing, then back to the prison. And according to the prison insider, who does not wish to be identified, Collins was allowed to drive home. That goes against protocol in a recent manual for State of Nevada executive branch agencies. Once the employee has completed all required testing, it is the appointing authority's responsibility to make sure the employee is transported home. Fox 5 has learned that would be the director or the warden, according to a former corrections officer. The prison insider says that didn't happen, and now others are being blamed for it. Those decisions come from him and uh, how he lied on his report that he put out when he got investigated. Sean reports NDOC officials said they cannot comment on the case, telling us here at Fox 5 it's a personnel matter. NDOC did refer us to a step-by-step -step list of procedures the agency follows when employees are suspected of being impaired.